Hey Karen, hello world, blue. If you saw my last video about building my own Alexa-like voice assistant using Python, you know that I recently purchased a 3D printer. Now, I purchased that printer specifically for that project, but now that I have it, I might as well use it for other things, otherwise it's just kind of sitting there. And something I've been wanting to do for a while now is actually customize the space here for the recording for the channel. So today, we're building our own LED-powered, 3D-printed Hello World sign. Oh, and it has Wi-Fi because... Why not? Originally, I was planning on just buying some random LED strips and then one of the thousand available LED controllers to actually go ahead and control that LED strip. However, that's boring. And on this channel, we like to code. And besides using OpenSCA to actually make the model for the letters, implementing the lights using some random controller that I found online by just plugging it in, it's again, very boring. So instead, we're gonna be building our own. Now, honestly, like 99.99% .99 of my projects, I have absolutely no idea on how to achieve that, which means that we actually get to learn something new, and that's always fun. After doing some research, these are the parts that I decided on. This is the Lalin board, which I'm pretty sure is just a Chinese ripoff of the more popular Node MCU board. Regardless of the name, these boards are just interfaces to make programming the onboard ESP8266 board a lot easier. What caught my attention about the ESP8266 board is that as you can see from the big white lettering, this thing is actually Wi-Fi enabled. This means that theoretically, we could use this thing to deploy our own web server and host it on our local network. Now, this is important because ultimately, we need a way to control our LED lights. And how cool would it be if we could control our lights wirelessly using an interface that we can design however we want? Not accounting for the ESP8266 board, that's only half of the equation. We need the other very obvious part to this thing to make the whole thing work. And that's actually the LED strips itself. This bunch of strips right here are actually kind of unique. You see, they contain a chipset called the WS2812B chipset. Now, this is important because it means that every single one of these LEDs are individually addressable, which means that we can actually control each of these independent from one or the other, giving us a ton of flexibility with the things we can achieve with them. With these two things, some resistors and a buck converter that we need to step down the voltage from this old laptop charger, we have everything we need. Now, we just need to find a way to put all of this together. So let's talk about the code. One of the reasons for choosing this ESP8266 board is that thanks to the Arduino community, there's actually a library out there that allows us to interact with this board. This not only allows us to get up and running with our code faster, but also gives us access to a wide range of libraries available for Arduino projects, like the fast LED library that I use to program the LEDs or the Arduino JSON library that I use to parse our HTTP requests to the server. Setting up our environment was actually super simple. I opted out for using the Arduino CLI since I pretty much try to stay away from any IDEs unless I really have to use one. And then after that, it was just a matter of printing out some code, which by the way, the code is written in C. After printing out all of my letters, which by the way, the idea for modeling these letters actually came from the creator on the Duke Docs YouTube channel, who has a really cool tutorial on how to use Fusion 360 to model these letters in Spanish. All I had to do was use some glue, solder everything together, and with that, I give you the open source Hello World sign. The cool thing is that the requests are just HTTP requests sent using fetch. So this makes it easy to control the lights with just about any device. So I couldn't resist putting a Karen out on for it as you saw at the beginning of the video. The ESP8266 server has two endpoints. One for setting a single RGB color that makes all of the letters a single solid color using the picker library. And then another endpoint for setting gradients which are actually made using CSS linear gradients. And then they're converted to something fast LED can understand using JavaScript. Additionally, gradients also have the option to be animated. This makes for some really cool color flow effects. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool back there. Now, like many of my projects, the code for this, all of this is open source. Not only that, but also the schematics, the 3D models, uh, the mechanical drawings, everything you need will actually be in the description below. You can find that using the GitHub link. Now, if you're into 3D printing and programming, make sure you go ahead and check out the build for Karen on there. Karen is my own voice assistant that I made using Python. And I just wanna go ahead and take a quick second to thank everybody who has subscribed so far, because literally a day ago, we just hit a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. I'm super psyched about that. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Like the video, you know, and let me know in the comments anything you want.